Hey guys, I hope you all must be doing great. So welcome back again to my another YouTube vlog. So today I'm gonna talk about the TSB ARC admission process and as well as how to get into Telangana architecture. So as we have discussed earlier that soon they're gonna give updates on the website. So right now I'm, I'm searching as TSB ARC. 2024 and enter so this is a career this is not it and this is also not it tsbr uh, tsbr where is it we recently just they just gave us a new page so let let me try this career thing is not that and then this br 2023 definitely not 2023 we want 2024 so make sure of it before thing thing let me search us something yes tsbr 2024 admissions online verification I guess this is it guys yeah 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 so this is a website as you might have saw what I entered to get in here so here uh, clearly we have a special page for this here we have important links application and helpline and steps to be followed First, let me just uh, see what is this paper notification. Have patience, guys, because it's going to be a little bit lengthier. I honestly don't know. Because if you want the <clears throat> proper information about it, so you need to watch this video full. <clears throat> so this is the newspaper notification which they released back then. And it says that eligible and qualified candidates of NATA 2024 seeking admissions into first year Bachelor of Architecture degree course offered under the government of private minority and aided institutes uh, in Telangana of academic year are informed to register online. Okay, they are informing you to register online before its first or eighth. What's the date today? Today is seventh. So still you have one more day and today. If I upload it sooner, so you have two days to upload this. And what are the criteria? They are asking us to upload uh, valid NATA 2024 code cards and other. I told you guys way sooner, way earlier that do not care about JE paper two. Just go it for as an exception. NATA matters. I told you guys very sooner. So they are asking NATA 2024 code cards. And the counseling fees is 1800 and 900 for SE and ST. The rest of the people, except these two, you guys are gonna pay 1800 for it. And candidates and uh, has to be paid online only. For details informing regarding eligibility criteria, general information, and other procedures for online register, please instruct and instruct. Okay, this is one, uh, this is one notification which is the paper notification and another one is where is the website here yeah. yes, here I go okay I just read you the paper notification and then to the instructions to the candidates oh here I go it seems like a lot of big papers I'm sure you guys must have gone through all of this but still let me explain first let us see that eligibility the candidates shall be Indian nationality as again I have uh, mentioned this thing in my previous video and the candidates should have passed 10 plus 12 10 plus 2 or equivalent examination with physics uh, it's clearly you have to be a PCM or MPC and uh, there are some people who go with the uh, M by PC as as long as you have uh, MPC as your subjects you can get in and the second point tells that all candidates are required to register online here only on this website or not on the other websites and here's the fees and uh, the notification of the counseling no separate call letters yes so as i said as i mentioned earlier everything gonna be online so you need to keep this uh, keep checking the this website only not the other 
and the qualified and eligible candidates have to scan upload yes uh, in order to apply you need to upload your original certificates not the xerox even if you by any chance upload the xerox one they'll reject you that might be the minor mistake but still it leads for the rejection and then nata hall to get here appeared for uh, more than one nata test before scoring the terms considered sir validity yes in order to give the sar which is state architecture rank they consider nata scores only not je paper too. so waste of giving it but still it is important to give provisional okay what are the certificates to be given are uh, provisional which is or memos we call long memo short memo tc whatever uh, sorry here the score card or something like that and here the memos memorandum and ssc memo in cash certificate income certificate yes if you haven't applied income certificate if you can claim the income certificate then go ahead and claim it and economical weaker sections they have a separate reservation for it which is good and tc is definitely mandatory if you haven't paid your previous college fees just go pay and get your tc and what is this migrate certificate yes if you are from other state migrate certificate is, is uh, required and uh, they do consider like from 6th to intermediate they need uh, all of your memos thesis and everything and if you are from other state then they need a proof that you are staying there from over there from 7 years preceding to qualifying examination uh, and as per instruction all right five person all will sit shall receive the local candidates and there may only uh, 15 person percent are reserved for unreserved candidates eu and su we consider okay see sir if if okay guys who's ever were asking me about the non local here it goes if non local candidates are to be considered for unreserved seats the following certificate are to be submitted if you haven't certificate submitted any of the certificates do consider submitting all of this the first one is resident certificate definitely candidates who has uh, resided in the state for a total period of 10 years excluding periods of study outside the state or either of the uh, whose parents have uh, resided in the state for a total period of 10 years excluding periods of employment or the so clearly you need to uh, keep any proofs of your parents and you uh, stating that you are of not the telangana but you are of the some other state and or if if not that or this just go ahead and read yourself i can't be reading every single thing here so again special category if uh, ph or cap what is cap children of armed forces person okay i don't think ncc sports okay you guys may get into all of this also certificates verification and counseling okay the preliminary certificate verification will be done based on scanned copies of okay let me explain you how the uh, certification verification will be done they'll take your uh, whatever the copies which you have sent they'll take two or three days just for checking all of that and then they'll verify then you'll get to know that whether it's approved or got rejected if it's approved then no worries if it got rejected then you need to recheck and uh, get to know the helpline whatever the helpline thing is there no? go ahead and feel free to ask them and the candidates can so his admission tuition fee will be or it has mentioned below after the first phase full tuition fee will be refunded yes uh, there will be three phases approximately two are uh, for sure and three if you join and if you pay the full fees and then you want to get into another college then uh, we have to really need not to be worrying about it because the full tuition fee will be refunded and 50% of our final phase and before cut off date for tuition for cancellation okay they'll pay us the 100 of percent yes this is it and that was the instruction to the candidates okay and important dates lift of colleges and intake field tuition will let me go this uh, through this important dates yes this is the main uh, thing which we needed so as you can see the schedule events and uh, everything issue of notification is on uh, 26 july online registration is of uh, 1st to 8th 8th is tomorrow so guys uh, do not 
delay or anything just go and uh, apply if you haven't and uh, whatever this thing they can apply on 9th display of the registered candidates of call correction okay on 13th whatever the corrections if you got rejected or whatever it is on 13th you have a special you have a special chance of correcting all of them sorry for the disturbance guys yes so i was saying on 13th if any of you guys haven't uh if you got any rejections or any of that on 13th of august you'll you'll get one day for the corrections and on 16th of august you'll be assigned with sar which means state architecture rank in that rank how how the rank is being derived means by uh, while you are submitting your memos and everything right so in that uh, they'll consider your uh, total or uh, right now what we'll do we'll submit our first year and second year score so they'll take our first year and second year score and then after nata score and then their average and then they give us a sar according to our architecture rank on uh, telangana in telangana okay so and then on 17th right after one day they'll do on 17th at the 18th first phase counseling starts which means they'll give us uh, options to keep the colleges and right after the two days then uh, they'll give us the so no after 18th they'll take two days gap and then after on 21st they'll give us uh, which college college got allotted and then right after that on 22nd and 23rd we need to go reporting at concerned colleges for verification of original so whatever the sub certificates we have submitted online right we have to go to that college in order to confirm the seats which is on 22nd and 23rd and information of vacancy position by colleges of the convener is again on if you go to 23rd and then you confirm your seat then after if somebody will uh, if somebody got into some different college which they thought and definitely they will not go for that because that's not what they thought of going so they'll uh, they will not go so the seat will be empty so on 24th they'll they'll inform to the conveners and uh, on 10th again sorry the 10th point is on 25th and 26th there's a second phase 29th again same provisionally will they'll give us option 30th 31st and definitely they'll give us uh, report concerned colleges again we have to go with the certificates and then they'll inform that this many seats left and this these are this many are filled and then placing what's for and guidelines on website so uh, okay they're saying that only there are two attempts or uh, sorry two phases this time so from september 2nd it will be starting but i don't think that this thing okay whatever up to this 31st is there no this will happen for sure he will not even even delay a one minute also if if he's saying that 26th then 26th midnight 12 o'clock only he'll start working on it so i don't think the classes will start here because uh, right after two phases luckily you guys will be having another phase also i guess because we had it and i don't know what my juniors i did not ask them i guess you guys will maybe have it i don't know but yes do not miss any of the important dates keep check keep checking here let me show again okay so these are the important list okay here here you go guys these this, this is i told you right 10 colleges are uh, in telangana so first is jnfu csi venkateshwara vaishnavi deccan so as you can see that you know, how many seats are there uh, with the percentages and uh, their intake tuition fees so you can have an have a rough idea on this let me go back again okay what is this rules of reservation what is this okay let me just go through once this is really small one page only okay rules of uh, reservation for admin admission uh, into undergraduate and postgraduate program of this okay whatever this is this is a fugi which we are doing for you admissions into 85% seat in each program shall be reserved for the candidates belonging okay 85% are if you are from telangana 15% are if you are from other state so you can see the percentage 
of your cast and then the percentage of the seats left seats they are providing or they kept for the reservation and special categories and reservation for women oh when, when did this happen they are giving separately for a woman also nice and 5% sub super seats for the upper end take each program of the and first order national integration scheme uh, admissions quota will be applicable only for those candidates who are qualified mm, okay this is all guys so far yes we're done with the video i should not call it as a vlog yes it is a vlog but still let me call it a video informative video so so far i have explained to you how the things work here and uh, whatever i have said whatever i have said uh, here they just gave us like steps to be followed uh, considering the registration pay process upload online certificate verification whatever i have just said they just gave you in a flow chart so far that's all all the very best for getting into architecture or whatever all the best and i wish you a really good luck yes so i'm ending the vlog here i guess this vlog will be enough for 2024 i i believe so so yeah guys all the very best do not miss any dates even if you are late for one minute if the day goes then you are gone there is no use of working really hard so yes all the best and keep consider the dates keep checking everything be aware of everything yes thank you thank you for watching guys and if you have any doubts let me know in the comment